Hello YouTubers, uh, good morning. Welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostic Channel and uh, to a new video. This morning I'm working on a 2007 Nissan Murano. Six on the 3.5 automatic front wheel drive and we have a code BSM Boy 1543 I believe. It have to do with the, I'm gonna double check the code in a minute. Uh, but it is related to the clock spring and the airbag system so because of the code it goes into the powertrain so it, it will not pass emission because of that so we need to fix that so we can just complete the drive cycle and go through emissions all right so before you do anything else with the airbag system first disconnect the battery okay make sure you disconnect the battery let the vehicle rest, discharge, deplete whatever is power into it. Uh, the PCM for at least 15 minutes. Follow the, the instruction manual. And if you are not confident, so if you are not, you know, familiar how the airbag system work, please do not attempt it because you can harm yourself, deploy accidentally the airbag. And potentially cause more trouble than what it's worth okay again safety first uh, so with that disclaimer let's get into the video so as I say I disconnect the battery I gotta clean the terminals this is a used battery I guess but still holding good voltage so here the steering wheel is center the tires are center so what we're gonna use is gonna use a T20 to work. Okay. So you're gonna come here on the side and you're going to remove those. Now on this one there are a couple different ways to test this, okay? One is going to make sure that first of all gonna try when the battery is connected if the horn doesn't work that's one test however you need to make sure you have the horns okay and if they are you want to make sure they work if they work then by doing this and the fuses are good and the relay is good you already check all the basics okay this will be one way to test that the clock spring behind the airbag that's the issue the next test is will be you control cruise control volume you cannot control the radio the radio works fine here that's another telltale again make sure that you do check the basics first okay because i'm trusting that you guys already did that sometimes the, the purpose of the video is to show you how to do the repair but never assume anything just do your basics always check your fuses fuses are good okay great move to the next stuff if it's a relay you might check make sure you check the relay so that way you don't just replay parts because you watch a video and you ended up spending money because you overlook several steps okay Okay, those two are out. Now we should be able to pull this and see anything behind here. Well, you saw this. Now I'm going to lift this black tab here. Now here is going to have the press and done. Now you're going to place this on the floor of the car like this. You don't want to ever do it like this because if it is deployed, the metal is going to, the airbag is going to explode, deploy, boom, the metal is going to potentially kill you. Just like this all the time. 
done. All right, so good. Now here, I'm gonna disconnect the steering wheel from it. So you're going to just press this tab and this comes off. Next, we have to uh, remove the nut and remove the steering wheel. I'll bring all the tools for that. All right, guys, I already lose this nut right here. It's a 19 millimeter, okay, or three quarters socket extension and a ratchet. So it's pretty easy. So next, you're going to need a tool. This tool usually it is for uh, removing the harmonic balance pulley in some engines. But also, you can use it, as you can see, on the steering wheel. If you don't have one of this, you can rent one on your local auto parts store. And when you finish, they will just give you the money back. It's pretty easy. So anyhow, so the next thing, when you lose the nut, you want to make sure you, the steering wheel, you put it back into center. Okay, you don't want it to be rotated to one direction. You want it to be totally center. So when we put, reinstall the new, clock spring everything is center very very important okay now it, it pop loose now you can see and that is why i like to keep the nut there sometimes the tight that the the steering wheel is under pressure and when you loosen them up it just pop okay it's not gonna hurt you but why even give it a try you know give it a chance it's best to just keep it there, be safe, and get it and get it done right. Again, just remember the battery must be disconnected. So I'm holding the the camera on one hand, obviously, and with the other one, I'm just uh, doing everything else. That's it. Now here is very important. You see that mark? That mark, those two should be aligned. It's, it's a little bit off. It's not horrible, but again, you want to make sure you put it right where it needs to be. Okay, in that case is right there. And this vehicle doesn't align perfectly, but you can see it is very close. So we're gonna move this. Just remember those cables come right through it be careful do not damage the connections and again I need to move everything in one hand okay those two boom done finito okay terrific Next, we're gonna remove the cover here. And as you can see, the clock spring moves. The new one is gonna be lock in place, so this is not gonna move. We're gonna reinstall it, then we take the, that lock. All right, so, let's go to the next move. Here on the bottom, have some holes here, so we're gonna have to remove some screws, and let's get to it. All right, so there are three bolts, Phillips head. Three are the same, uh, the same length. Next, there is a little cover that it goes here. We just use a screwdriver and pop loose. Next, we're going to remove the covers. It should come here, and that pop loose. Move it. This one it comes here, and you're gonna pull it down from the left, the right side down, and we're gonna slide it to the left. Sort of. There you go. Take this out of the way. Next, there are one, two bolts here. A Phillips head. That 
this off and guys if you haven't done it already please subscribe to the channel that'd be highly appreciated okay leave you your comments down below questions concerns I will get to you as soon as I can next right here it's a tap you put you press there and all this it should come off now we must remove this connector right here we're gonna push it down here let me see this tab right here it should slide out there it is that's it I think that's it Oh, never mind. Two more on the bottom. So here, we just press the tabs as you saw before, and this should come off. All right, so, so far, this is what we need to do to remove it. I will uh, I'm gonna need two hands for this. So that's how you remove it, okay? So. I will continue the video later when I'm putting everything back and test everything. So again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, share the video, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, so finally I got the part here for the, uh, the new clock spring. Okay, uh, it was not in the stock, so they needed to pick it up from a different store. But finally they got here so okay one thing okay word of caution here when you get this a new part make sure you see this clip right here this clip it prevented from rotating so right there it's in the center like uh, okay zero degrees zero degrees so here as I was showing on the video, you see how this rotate? So if for any reason you get a new clock spring and this part is not there, make sure you ask for a different one. You do not want that one, okay? If mine doesn't work, it's, it's, you don't need to redo your work. Just remember that. Oh well, so let's, uh, let's go here with the video. So what we're gonna do now, we gotta transfer the uh, the turn signal switch and the windshield wiper switch and headlight switch. So here, there's a clip there, and here, those that clip right there, that clip, and ta-da! You see, it comes up. So this now when. We actually, okay, this is like this, both are the same direction, okay. This, we wanna make sure that right here, this part, line up with this part. Right, right there. There is. It went all the way, it latches all the way in. Just click. Make sure you don't try to rotate this part, okay? So be very cautious on that. So one, put it there. Put that one away. Same thing with this. There's one over here and one over here. So those two, when it comes out. Now, something here, okay. So this one is not, this one is more loose, so you have to be extra careful in case yours is the sound like mine. Come a little bit loose, but it seems to, you got on the position. There you go, click. So this part, 
is ready to get back in the vehicle. Again, I will go back in the vehicle, put it back in, and after we're done with this, you gotta clear the code or disconnect the battery. Sometimes you do gonna need a scanner to clear the code for this uh, for this particular system. Sometimes they just don't go away by itself by disconnecting the battery. Just remember that. All right, but now, if everything else is good, when we install this, install the, uh, uh, the steering wheel and the airbag, that we should be able to control the, the volume of the radio, the station, the cruise control should work, and your, um, uh, what else? And the horn should work. Okay, so. Let's get back to the car. All right, guys, so everything is back together here. And um, as you can see, the ignition switch is on. I'm gonna do this again. You can see the lights come on. Now the horn works. The volume, you can see here when I use the button here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna load the the sound because I don't know what is the regulation with uh, rules with YouTube about um, music in the background. Anyhow, so you can see uh, the controls work. Now, cruise control on and off. You can see the green light coming on. Now, the airbag light when went off. Okay before it stays on all the time. Cool. Nice. Next, we have a 2007 Nissan Murano. And we on the airbag module, codes only. Current codes, no codes. We're gonna call this a fix. All right. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you the code, the vehicle history, right here. And the airbag module, I had two codes back when I started looking at it, right there. Be it from the body control module, 1049, driver airbag module open, and BSM Boy 1054 driver airbag module open as well. So that's it, guys. So that's how you replace your clock spring and a 2007 Nissan Murano. Okay, I hope this helped. If you stay this far in the video and you find any value whatsoever, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share, comment. Uh, and leave your question down below and I will do my very best to get back to you as soon as possible again Thank you so much for sticking with me through this repair. Have a great day. Do your best and God bless Later